Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 20, and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. We finished up the last bit of the Sky Garden. We got the last crystal ball, and let's go ahead. Oh, not that button. Nope, not that button. Nope, not that button. That button. Great. Googling, my All right. We've got our last crystal ball equipped. The crystal ball is set in the hole. Everything's already saved, and now it is time to walk across the bridge and attack the Viper. Sounds like the name of Judas Priest song, but okay. Well. I guess that makes going back harder. Oh. That's what I get for not paying attention. Oop. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Oh, yikes. Um. Okay. Oh. Where did he go? Um. Oh my. The earlier guy was harder than that. I thought these guys were supposed to get harder. Like, why couldn't I have fought this guy first and then the little, little evil demon hands thing later? Okay. You have defeated the huge demon. Look, a mystic statue. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um. Oh yeah, that's right. I get to turn into Will because I'm probably about to see people. A strange noise fills the air around you. From out of nowhere, you hear Neil's voice. Will, you're falling to the ground. Well, the debris does seem to be moving at an upward velocity. That must mean I'm moving downward. Grab the airplane and we'll fly out of here. Uh, why do I get a bad feeling about this? All right. Oop. Here we go. We. Oops. Uh. <laughs> Shoot, I dropped a contact. <laughs> I, I, I do like when they play with this kind of stuff. What? You idiot! Will is doomed for sure now. Neil, it's still a little ways to the ground. Try again. Okay, I'll get him this time. Well, of course you're going to get me eventually. The game isn't finished yet. <laughs> oh, hero landing. Gotta have the hero landing. That was a close one. Oh, why are you crying? You two. Don't cry. Will's been saved. Neil, you are great. This invention saved Will's life. Haha, <laughs> don't flatter me. Don't. His head's big enough as it is. We should try and locate the next ruins. I expect the shape of Cygnus is the same as the shape of Moo. Moo? Oh no. Well, to the ocean. Moo lies somewhere in this ocean. Are you sure? That, that seems like a little bit of a stretch. But okay. Um, did we just crash in the ocean? Because it looks like we just crashed in the ocean. And I'm pretty sure we're not parachuting like that if we just crashed like depicted. We got out of the airplane in the nick of time. No, we didn't. Neil's a good inventor, but it seems there's always something missing in his inventions. I guess nobody's perfect. Including Neil. Oh, wait. I don't know the sorry tone.
The next thing he knew, Will was standing in a huge palace. I couldn't remember anything since my water landing. Is everyone safe? Da, 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 da. Oh. Um. What was that about? Record what's happened so far? Yes, please. Record my progress. Alright. Um. I think that's probably going to be the more useful map. All right, finished recording. Continue? Yes, please. Then go. <laughs> Be gone! All right. We got down and up and red jewels and... What? A sign of life from the right-hand room? I guess we're going to the right-hand room. Will, where? Where is it? Um... Oh. I can't save you, but I can save that red jewel. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and send that over to Gem the Jeweler right now. Keep that inventory as uncluttered as possible. And I, well, down the stairs is the only place to go. What? I can hear a soft voice from somewhere. This is the Palace of Vampires. The fountain in this palace produces demons continuously. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Just because. Alright. Um. Up or down? Which one's down? Is that down? No, that's up. A sign of life from the left-hand room? I don't think that's where I wanted to go, though. Wanted to go down? What? I hear a soft voice from somewhere. It's in the basement of the castle. There's a strange fountain. The stone is there. Hurry, hurry! Um... Hey, you scared me. I practically had a heart attack. I saw Eric in the other room, but something strange. His body is half transparent. I can see through it. And he seems to be unconscious, as if his spirit is lost. Let's stick together. I don't know what will happen. I'll borrow Will's pocket for a while. Never mind. This is me not saying anything in an effort to keep this family friendly. Let's go. Listen, Lily. If you start saying, hey, listen, I'm quitting. I just want you to know that. I don't think that's the way I wanted to go. I really don't. Maybe I do want her to go, uh... Oh, bother. All right, let's try this one first. Because I know that there's a couple of red jewels in here. You found a red jewel. Okay. Yeah, there's lots of downs and ups and ups and downs and... What is this place? Dark and lonely. Mother, save me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, down to... Uh, okay. I think I found... Alright, do I want to go up or down? Let's go... Up? No, that's down. Um... I'm so lost. All right, uh, that is not as helpful as I thought it was going to be. And anyway, there should be three jewels. All right, and we've already got one jewel. 
And to the left, ignore the skeletons. Choose the one to the left that leads up. We talk to Eric. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, let's backtrack. Hi. I stunned you. Uh, this is not backtracking. Okay, now it is. All right, so I'm back here. Matter of fact, I don't know if I took damage on that last one or not. Let's, uh, let's talk. Okay. I clearly didn't take damage then. Okay, so let's start at the, at the beginning again with this guide here instead. All right, dark space. Go to the far right room. This is where we got Kara and the jewel. Oh, we did get a second jewel. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so that's two of three jewels. Yes, that's two of three jewels. All right. So then we go down these stairs here. And I get a mosquito flying around here and it's going to be the end of me. All right. So we got that. We had leave the room staircase down, head all the way to the left, ignoring the skeletons, just stunning them on their way. All right. And you'll find two staircases. Choose the left one that leads up, which we did. From here, you can go to the left and a room that has the apparition uh, of Eric. And then to the right, and this is where we got our second red jewel. Yep. Okay. Leave the room and take the staircase down. That's going to be that guy there. All right. Head all the way to the left again. Wait. No. What? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Head back downstairs. Now take the other one, leads down, run to the right, and pass up two staircases. So that's one, that's two, and then we go in here, and this is where we met Lily. All right. Now exit the room and take the first staircase you encounter. All right, and you'll go down, head to the left, and take the only other staircase there. Oh, that is literally all this room has to offer. Okay. I can hear a soft voice from somewhere. The purification stone in the castle. What is this, clue? Um, the butler did it in the castle with the purification stone. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I am just a little punchy. All right. Um, great. I hate mazes. All right, Lily, yada, yada. Only other staircase. Go to the right. To the right. No, there's nothing to the right. Did he mean left? Or is it when we get to that one and then go to the right? Because there should be some blobs around here somewhere. Ah. There they are. All right. At the end of the hall, there are two staircases. Take the right one to go upstairs. There are three caskets. Two shut and one open. Examine the furthest one to the left, and Lily will open it. Lily speaks from his pocket. Um. 
I'm really trying to keep this kid friendly, you know. Isn't there a hole in the coffin? I could get in through the hole, but I better have a look. Yep, not going there. Not even a little bit. I found a strange stone inside this coffin. You've found the purification stone. Are these like purification tablets. Am I going to toss this in the well and uh, good for purifying three gallons of... Oh, wait, no. Can't help but feel like there's supposed to be one more gem. Can't seem to open the lid. Yep. All right, go in the coffin. Take a look. There's a strange key fastened inside this coffin. No wonder it didn't open. Dun, da, 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 da. No. Okay. Um. Head back downstairs. Head to the left. Oh. Well, that was easy. Okay. Take the one on the far left end. In here, you'll find a chest containing the third and last red jewel. Yes. Okay. There's our third jewel. Whew. Items. Red jewel. Send that joker off. <laughs> Alright. So what do we... Alright. So we got the purification stone. Okay. And backs downstairs to the right. Take the next staircase you see. Go left and we should find Lance. Uh, okay. And Neil. Okay. Go to the right and take the stairs at the very end. Oop. It seems we have some people to uh, deal with. Oh, did you just like jump at me and die? I think it just jumped at me and died. What? It's a strange fountain. Could there be a connection between this and the rock? Could there be a connection between the big, dirty fountain and the purification stone? Hmm. He raises the purification stone. The stone began to glow and disappeared into the spring. I mean, look. Sometimes I do need an extra hint, but I really don't need to be clubbed over the head with a clue by four. Okay. Now what? Once that is due, leave the room. Um. Oh, hello. Saved. Thank you. I was brought to this place from Phrygia and changed to a demon. Lily speaks from his pocket. Um. Seriously. What? All the demons we saw before were human beings? I know now what it feels like to be close to death. Death is terrifying. I wonder if the animals we eat feel the same way I felt right before death. Well, if they feel tasty, they probably do. Alright. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. 
we're going to go ahead and jump because we're, we've been about 20 minutes in and this is usually a good place to go ahead and uh, call it an episode again if you're watching on the live stream remember this is a live to tape recording in the next six episodes so if you're watching live hang tight there's still more to come if you are not watching live and you're watching this later on YouTube, or if you are watching live, either way, there's a couple of ways you can help out the channel. First is to follow on Twitch if you haven't already. That way you'll be notified when I go live. I stream almost every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I do Games Revisited on Thursdays and Minecraft on Tuesdays. I may also do the Odd Extra stream on the weekend, so follow along and you'll always know. If you haven't already, subscribe on YouTube. That way you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives, and various other bits get posted. And if you are watching this later on YouTube, you've already heard all the stuff about likes and bells and things and all that. So I'm, I'm not going to... You know what to do. You're smart. You know what to do. And watching live or later on YouTube, if you haven't already, consider supporting the show. I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So if you're enjoying the content, if you're getting value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. That'll take you to my Streamlabs page. And there you can tip or donate, whichever way you want to think about it, even if it's just enough for a fresh cup of coffee. A good cup of coffee. Not that Starbucks stuff. Um, <laughs> sorry. I, I had to throw that one in there. Uh, so thank you. Live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.